Hello everyone. So today I would be teaching you how you can do advanced document search using Scopus database. So first of all, you need to have logged into your account. So I have already logged into my institutional provided um, Scopus account. And uh, here we are not going to do the simple search or the basic search using Scopus. Instead, we are going to do the advanced document search. So in order to proceed with the advanced document search, please click on this advanced document search option here. Right. So here, uh, this is the platform that you are directed to when you click on advanced document search. So then you have to type the query string. That means you are researching on a particular area. So there should be a query string or it's more like the keyword that you are using, right? For example, just imagine I'm doing my study based on sustainable reporting. So if I want to go through the past literature where they have discussed about sustainable reporting, what would be the keyword? Keyword would be sustainable reporting right so here the magic is that i am going to ask scopus look scopus i need to see all the articles where they have mentioned sustain the the terminology sustainable and the reporting right so in order to give this command uh, i'm going to tell scopus Scopus, please uh, screen for the titles, abstracts, and keywords in the literature and see for the articles they are either sustainable and reporting is included, right? So for a particular article to get included in this literature search, they need to have two terminologies. One would be sustainable and the other one would be the reporting aspect. So I want Scopus to do the search looking at the title, abstract, as well as the keywords in the set of articles. So here, let's do the search now. So when I go with the search option, I have got 7,302 documents found, right? So here, if you look at the first article, there we see the sustainable terminology and the reporting terminology is there. If you look at this particular article, again, the two terminologies are there. So such 7,302 documents Scopus had found, right? So here, uh, you can see that based on this set of articles, suppose that you are a researcher in the field of business and management. So you might not be that interested in the other subject areas like environmental science, social sciences, or engineering and energy sort of subject areas. So in cases like that, Scopus has given us an option what is the specific subject area that you need to sort your articles into? So I am interested in business and management accounting. So looking at the subject area, you can see I have included this. And I am only interested in the articles and the review articles only. That means it could either be journal articles or, or else an article which would fall under the category of systematic literature review sort of articles. And I'm interested only in the uh, articles that are already published. That means those that, those that are in the final stage. And looking at, uh, so you have other options also. I'm only interested in the language English. Um, so there are some other criteria also. If you want, you can sort the articles accordingly. Now, initially, we had how many articles based on sustainable reporting? 7,302 articles. Now, based on these particular limitations, I'm going to narrow down the set of articles into uh, the business management and accounting in the field of business management and accounting, articles or review articles, final stage, 
uh, and published in English language. So when I click on limit to see how many articles I am getting out of 7,302 articles, I have narrowed it down to mainly the business and management, uh, business management and accounting field. I am getting 1,292 documents. So this is uh, how you can do the advanced document search using Scopus. Suppose that once after you have uh, done the uh, search accordingly as per your requirement based on the criteria as mentioned in the left hand side. So after that, suppose that you are doing the search today, but when you are developing your systematic literature review article, you might need to go and visit this search again. In cases like that, Scopus allow us to save the search uh, that we have already performed. So here, when you uh, look at this um, left-hand side, you have save, save search option and set search alert option. So here, using save search option, when you click on save search, I'm going to give a name for the save searches, um, sustainable reporting, uh, 8th of August 2023, right? So when you click on save, now it has got saved under your account, right? So here uh, we'll see as to where this save search has got uh, saved. So we have this saved list. When you click on the saved list, saved searches, not the saved list, click on the saved searches option. So there we have this particular, this is the search that we have done, right? So when you click on that, it would get redirected to the uh, particular search that we have already performed. So when you, uh, instead of save, uh, saving the search, if you set search alert, if new articles in this area of sustainable reporting get published, under the Scopus database, which falls into the categories that you have chosen, you would automatically get an email alert to your email account. Look here in Scopus, there's another kind of uh, article related to your area has got published. So in that case, instead of 1,292 documents, you would have 1,293 documents. So this set search alert option is for that use. Uh, so, here uh, you can see now when we look at the uh, query string, instead of only the uh, the search query string that we have uh, given as a command to Scopus, other than that, the particular kind of the exclusion criteria that we have mentioned, we need to uh, sort only the business management and accounting articles. We need to look at only the publications that are in the final stage, which are published in English. So those particular uh, commands are also visible under the enter query string, apart from the commands that we have already given. So this is how you can perform uh, an advanced search in Scopus. So make sure that you are using uh, the correct query string. It's very important. Uh, so I'll show you another uh, small technique. Sometimes when you look at the sustainable reporting aspect, in certain cases, it is also referred as sustainability reporting. In order for uh, Scopus to have a wider search of literature, instead of sustainable terminology, you can take use of this asterisk mark. We call it as a wildcard uh, sign. So through this asterisk mark, what it refers is that now, a, now Scopus would capture any terminology, may it be sustainability, may it be sustainable, or whatsoever, any terminology that starts with these few letters, but the ending may be different. If you look at sustainability, at the end we have TY, uh, sustainability. And if it is only sustainable, we need to add E. So based on this asterisk mark, you can uh, have a wider or broader coverage, right? Uh, yeah. So in order for you to like have a sort of understanding, let me click on search option. 
So initially, if you can remember, we found 7,200 something articles. Now we are getting comparatively increased number of documents we have found. Why? Because instead of only the sustainable terminology, we have telescopes. We are not only limiting our search to sustainable only, but we are giving the command along with an asterisk. So there might be articles where they, are, they have sustainability or sustainable, right? So that's the reason why simply this number of documents have increased rather than our initial search. So here sustainable, right? In most of the cases, but it would capture sustainability sustainably. So see, it's not sustainable. Now they have captured or they have sorted uh, sustainably as well because we have used the wildcard sign here, right? So that's pretty much it that I wanted to teach you all as to how we can do advanced document search. Uh, so you can have like a sort of like enter and see if you want Suppose that here I have taken use of the AND Boolean operation. Uh, here, if you take use of O, all the documents, if all the documents in, in a search like this, what would come as the uh, set of articles would be where either the terminology sustainable or else the terminology reporting is reported. Case like this, the number would be different, not as before. Here, probably number of articles have increased because even if a particular document has the word sustainable or sustainability or sustainably or else reporting, uh, either one of these terminologies are there in the title abstract or as a keyword, it would get included in this particular literature set. So that's the reason why the number has got increased. So that's the difference between AND Boolean operation and O Boolean operation. AND means along with something, another thing has to be included. For example, along with sustainable, reporting aspect also should present in order to get a particular literature selected into this particular criteria but whereas if it is the o if you are doing a if you are doing a literature search of two keywords only one has to present if even one is present that would get selected as a uh, literature in the set of uh, literature that you are searching all right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you have got a good understanding. So we'll meet again in our next video.